Roselle Ellis and Corey Williams will be leaving their friendship on the sidelines when the Crocs face Melbourne this Friday night. Both men today spoke exclusively to Win News as they prepare to clash as opponents for the first time. Old friends have become new enemies. Roselle Ellis and Corey Williams were best mates while playing in Crocs colours, but now the battle lines have been drawn for Friday night's Swamp Showdown. You know, Roselle was my guy, you know, but, uh, you know, we got jobs to do and, you know, obviously, you know, we're just going to be a game against each other as opposed to be a game as opposed to playing with each other. I think we'll welcome him in the right way on the basketball court with a loss for him and a win for us. The two Americans refuse to be drawn into a slanging match before they face each other on the court, a sign of strong mutual respect. The same type of basketball Roselle brings is what I bring, leadership, uh, fearless, a lot of heart, a lot of intensity. He's a competitor and I'm a competitor also, so he's going to come hard and uh, I'm going to do the same. So it'll be a little bashing and smashing in there, but it'll all be fun. Homicide has also reaffirmed his respect for his former club, saying the Crocs won't be on the receiving end of any online tirades. The reigning MVP was yesterday cautioned by the NBL for his Twitter outburst towards Perth. There's no other team I purposely dislike. There's no other team that purposely dislikes me outside of the Wildcats, so there's no reason to be tweeting anything. You know, I just think sometimes you need something to uh, spice it up and get everybody's attention and get everybody watching and see what's going on, so almost like a soap opera. Even so, Ellis is convinced his former teammate won't be too quiet come tip-off. Who knows what that guy's going to say, but it'll be real animated, I'll tell you that, so um, I wouldn't be surprised what he says. Andrew Smith, Win News.